So even though that we are a company that needs to make a profit and we are trying to grow as fast as we can to help drive 3D printing into the mainstream, we still turn down a lot of clients and here are some of the reasons why. So we never want to turn down a client. We never want to say, no, don't give us your money. I mean, fundamentally, that's the way it is. But we do turn down a lot of clients because we have to work with you. And we are, as a manufacturer, kind of an investor in whatever it is that you're having manufactured. So we have to be careful about who we pick because there are limited resources that we have available for the clients coming through the door and the clients that we currently work with. And we want to make sure that every client who comes to us has a good experience and has the highest chance of success because that allows us all to be successful. We are not able to help everybody and some people just can't be helped. So we're gonna dive into a lot of those reasons. Now the obvious first reason is if you're just a jerk. If you're terrible to work with, which our examples are exceptionally high levels of communication, like every single day you need to have an update of where your job is, even though we said it'll be delivered at the end of the week. And then you check on Monday, is it done yet? And we say it'll be delivered at the end of the week. And then you say on Tuesday, is it done yet? And we say it'll be delivered at the end of the week. If you're that type of a client, it's really tough to maintain a relationship with you because you're immediately disappointed because it wasn't done the first time you asked. But you also wear out our team and take resources away from other clients for no good reason. And if you're a jerk human, we don't wanna work with you. So that's the obvious first no that might exist out there. Another client that we might say no to is an early client, someone who's basically at a napkin sketch. Now, this is not universal. We have taken many clients from napkin sketch into production, but the difference is a client has to have a very clear idea of what they want, almost down to the dimensions of the part. Like, I want this thing to plug into the side of this part and do this kind of thing. Here's a napkin sketch. Well, do you have the part that it's plugging into? Yeah, here it is. Okay. That is something that we can engineer around and design around so our design team can very quickly get to the core idea. But if you write down uh, Uber for 3D printed parts and hand it to us and say, design that, we're, we can't help you because we have no idea what you want and we can't go through an eye doctor AB test for the next 10 years getting down to whatever is inside of your head. You have to be very clear and very concise about what you want. If you are not able to define that really well for us, then we will probably say you need to go work on it with somebody else or get yourself your own 3D printer until you get to something that you wanna optimize and scale up because that's what we work in. We take a product that might be a little bit rough, help with refining it and then take it into mass production. That is what we're the best at. So if you're not at the stage where you can get to that quite quickly, then it's probably not the right time to start talking to us. We do do prototypes and we do help with middle ground production, but it has to be on the road to mass production and you have to know what you want. The other reason we might turn down a client is if the design is bad. For example, if somebody has a part that is currently injection molded and they send it to us and say, can you 3D print this? We will say no to that client because injection molding is a different process and a different set of design rules from 3D printing. So if you want to 3D print an injection molded design, we will very often say no because ultimately you're gonna get a part that is suboptimal because you're trying to put a square peg into a round hole and we don't wanna do that to you. We wanna make sure that you have a good result and if you're not excited about the result that is provided, we don't wanna do it for you and we're setting ourselves up to fail if we're trying to put a square peg in a round hole. Injection molded parts should not be 3D printed and 3D printed parts should not be injection molded. There are two separate processes and there are different rules and different ways of achieving those results that are equally good at the final stage, but you have to plan for the manufacturing process. And if you don't, we cannot work with you. Piggybacking off of that, if you are not coachable, it's very difficult to work with a client. If you are not willing to modify the design, if we say, oh, it, it's close, but we need to do this, that, and the other thing to really make it manufacturable. If you're not open to that modification, to in kind of embracing 3D printing and adjusting your product towards that manufacturing processes and the advantages that it provides, then we won't be able to work with you if you're not willing to do that. Because again, you'll get a suboptimal part. If you want us to make you garbage, we will say no because we do not want to produce garbage. And we have so much experience and background in seeing these parts come through that we know what we can do well and what we can't. And if you're not able to learn from that experience, then it's really tough to work with you. Because in a manufacturing relationship, it is a relationship. 
If you hire a manufacturer, we are an integral part of your company. If we don't do our job, you don't get your product. So it has to be very cohesive and we have to be able to get along and bounce off of each other to create good products. Otherwise, there won't be good products. Other times, we might actually reject a client because of budget. This is not because we're sitting on some ivory tower and they can't afford it or something like that, but the manufacturing process is expensive and there's a prototyping stage and development stage and then mass production, which all has kind of risk associated with it. If someone comes to us and they're not prepared for that journey financially or any other way, we'll recommend that they hold off until they get more funding or something else because Manufacturing is a zero or one situation. If you get 70% of the way done, it's still not done. So if a client isn't ready and doesn't have the resources in place to go into mass production, we might say no, we'll try to help and provide as much guidance as we possibly can so they can prepare, but we won't start the project because it very potentially might not be able to finish. And that just leaves the client in a worse case than when they started. So if they're not ready for the commitment of mass production financially, then we might just say, hey, you need to hold up for a little bit because you're not quite ready and this is gonna be harder than what you think it is. Because again, we've worked with thousands of clients, we've seen it all happen before, and there's very few new stories under the sun in this kind of situation. So we might turn down a client and just say, come back to us when you're a little bit ready or make sure you get some better financing or get a better backer or something along those lines because you're not gonna be able to get there with 100 bucks, that kind of a thing. So hopefully that gave you some insight as to why we turn down clients. And this is something that you can apply to almost any business. When you're a startup, you kind of have to take everybody, but you can set yourself up for failure there, especially inside of 3D printing, because you end up diluting yourself across a bunch of different things that don't really help you and create a bad experience for the client. So comment down below if there's any other sorts of clients that you have rejected in the past, or if there's other types of videos around running a consultancy or manufacturing company that you'd like us to cover. We publish every Tuesday and Saturday, so if you wanna see those videos, go ahead and hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day, everybody.